Turn 10. We got our three battles. Attacking into these indies. Which don't die pretty fast. Maybe easily. Then we've got attacking over here. And that one's pretty easy too. And then next we've got over here. And I think this one won't be a problem. that. We got <laughs> Misfortune 3, but I got a, uh, I guess the scales over there, somebody else's, or neutral. So we got another 658 in gold events, which I'll take. And so we're going to take you home, and he's going to pick up some stuff. Let's do that. Make this. And then what do we got? So these guys are cool, except they cost a lot of gold. Javelin does a lot of damage, but the accuracy is bad. These are cheap. Javelin does far less damage. They are far more affordable. Uh, does it even really matter which one I pick? I don't think it does. I'm going to go for the one with the axe. No, oh, yeah, this guy. Just so he hits harder if he gets into melee. I'm not trying to repel or delay battles. We'll do that. And the reason we're doing that, if you look over here, this, because I peeked at this turn, so that is Jumon, and he is over here. So I tried to talk to him and negotiate um, some kind of nap or agreement, and apparently he's had really bad expansion and his neighbors were laughing at him. So we're just going to um, kill him, probably. So I'll walk over there. And this guy's going over there. You are searching. I just have four. What has he got? Four of these. I'll make, like... There. Should be fine. Oh, and then we've got a Garth over here, and that's his cap. And uh, obviously, his cap circle's not cleared either. I am inclined. I don't know if this. Let's see. Pretenders of the world. Agartha. Gather of the dead. What does he even have? Is that like just a random death god? Or does he have like death weapons? Obviously, he doesn't have good expansion. That's one thing we can be sure about. I think we're going to walk over there. We'll say hello by attacking him. I think that's fair with this exp the quality of his expansion. Um, this guy's going to over here. He needs to build this. Down there. You are searching. Just wait. And oh, I never sent this out. Oh well. So she will throw down the, the lab there for the lizardmen. Actually, I think I should start another fort here. Or 
Where should I put it? This is really high gold. 105. 121. And I think we'll stick it over here. Yeah. And I should have the gold for that as well. And then what actually... Let's see. So this is... Woodsman, that's garbage, and this one is Archer's 8 res, which is also garbage, and this one is 23 res Expos, which is also garbage. Yeah. We'll just we'll move that around. So it looks like he's going this way. So next turn, those giants will go into that. This guy's gonna expand and say hello, and this guy's gonna pick up some friends, and then he's going to go this way, I think. That's Joman, and I can go here, hit this that I need to hit anyway to expand, walk through that, whatever it is, and Joman's on the other side, so I can just go straight in. So probably what I'll do. This guy is going to go up here, um, hit this province. I don't. I assume it's going to be Jomon, or maybe it's somebody else. Um, I might go here instead. Or does he even have? I don't think he's got enough to clear that. No, I can't clear his cat PD with just that. I mean, I might be able to, but it's not worth the attempt. Uh, I just want to knock down the periphery of his. Um, Cap, keep his resources down, because Jomon is really bad if they don't have resources. And I assume he either has a dead awake god or has a, never got one. Uh, either one of those. Bad provinces. Do I not have any source of crossbows? This is going to be kind of bad if I don't. Archers. I got four res archers over here. I don't have any source of fire though, so I can't fling the arrows, so I do not want to make short bows. I would like to make crossbows, but it really doesn't look like the game wants me to. Which is funny, because this is LA, and usually crossbows kind of grow on trees. Just archers. Archers everywhere. And I may f do this as my next fort right here. It's a decent position anyway. We'll see. For now, though, we're just going to expand outward here. Um, he's going to pick up a big pile of shit. We could actually... We can make some bouldermen, too. I think I actually will. These are excellent for knocking walls over. You don't need very many. But they are pro-tier at doing that kind of stuff. So we're going to get those guys. Um, so we're going to want four for the villains. Turmoil comes in. Palisades. Oh, that's right. That's the one negative, so we're going to cancel that. So these guys, they're, um, the second stage to their castle takes three turns instead of two. So you do have a one turn delay on your forts going up. And then their base fort... Um, is the same as a regular one. It's just the giant fortress takes an extra turn, which kind of sucks. Um, and then what was it? It's like an extra 50 gold. But uh, it's not a big enough deal to be a serious drawback. It is a minor one, though. And we don't really care anyway, because all I want out of... Well, since I don't have any crossbow provinces, all I want out of them is... Um, commanders. And then I guess we'll be stuck... Making Huskarl. They are really not going to survive in the Age of Crossbow. These guys are not like very high tier. I mean, they're they're kind of like light infantry, but s maybe slightly better. Maybe not even that. Just because of their cost. Like, let's look at a normal light infantry. So yeah, they have like barely more prot, 
and they cost two more resources. So I don't even know if they're better. It's like a wash. But, you know, I suppose they will attract crossbows. Um, that just means that we need a different counter. So what was I getting alteration for? Oh. So I need alteration for so that we can... Okay, so we still need alteration for first. And that is to enable... Do we really know? Because that lets me get uh, ethereal and liquid body, which with my god makes it pretty much not killable. We might actually... We're going to skip this. We're going to get alteration too, just because I'm so close. Which will give me quick and self, although he doesn't need it. And resist fire. Um, enlarge, I don't think does anything when you're size 6, so my god can't really use that. And I don't have any of these to pass. Thaumaturgy. I'm gonna get Panic. Panic's really strong when you can scale it, uh, which I can. Or at least spam it by simply stacking everything up into a top heavy communion. Uh, and then you can spam panic pretty freaking hard. Terror is even better. I think we're going to settle for panic just because of the scaling on that. It's comparable to terror, and it's easier to build communions for it. And it's also level 3, so it doesn't take as much of a detour. So we'll get that, Thou 3. And I think we're going to go straight down to level 5. Enchantment. <laughs> for two reasons. First reason, obviously, Skull Spam is good. Second reason, Foul Vapors can be used as a budget way to wipe a battlefield with crossbows in it which my dog can do. So we're just going to get that. Hopefully that'll be sufficient. And then I think after that, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do Conjuration 2 first. So make wolves. Then we're going to enchant in 5. My research will start to ramp up pretty quick in the near future because I'm going to be spamming these out of all these forts that I'm making. Plus, lizards are going to start coming out. <clears throat> we got this fort going up. Starting one here. Next turn, probably. Yeah. Turns four, so I can make that. He'll stop there, make a temple. Should I go? Yeah, no, we'll wait. So he'll make a temple there, then move there and make another temple. And then probably come back here and make... Actually, wait, that's what you can do. You can go there. Because this guy can make temples too. He is sacred. So I'll have him on sit in temple duty. We're gonna go down here. I guess preach. We can preach here. You have nothing better to do at the moment. Actually, you can search search holy too. Maybe I'll get lucky and find something neat. Uh, lizard men. He's got all this rich land down here. Oh, there's bogus. Progress is probably not going to attack him, so he's pretty safe in that direction. What's over there? We're going to scout, I think, this way and see who's over here. I'm going to be coming into uh, neighbor this person, whoever this is down here. Do I see a cap? No. So they're going to be over here somewhere. Um, I don't think I see any other caps up here either. No. We've just got Agartha down here. Poor expansion. And we'll make these. So I'll probably let this guy faff around for a little bit. My H3 is going to be picking up uh, 8 plus all the Huskarl, which will bring him up to... 15 of these, which is a good number. Plus, he's going to get a handful of hurlers and, like, I don't know, maybe 20 javelins or whatever. 
Um, and those should have no problems walking over here. This guy's just going to kind of exist. Um, I'm not going to throw them away. I'm going to try and conserve them and mind games. Either just walk around and grab a couple provinces or bait gentleman into attacking into me so that I can kill some of his troops. I'm not going to engage his cat PD with these until I have this group as well. Um, remember, it is only turn 10. I know it feels later. I, I get, Or at least for me, I get the sensation that the game is at a later turn than it actually is. Uh, just because my expansion is so strong, it feels like I'm later on. I'm already like, spamming forts and all that kind of stuff. So when you have really strong expansion, it kind of feels uh, earlier or later than it is. So it'll actually turn 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We should be jumping on his cap. Um, and in that meantime, we'll see how far this guy can get in being a pain in the ass in his cap circle. Um, I think I will actually move my god to here uh, and get my candles in that province. Uh, just move him down there and search. So that way I've got candles here. And then I can move over here to search and like do stuff. Um, oh, that's right. I don't want to search there. Death 3. So we'll search up here or something. So that way, if he moves into here, I can ignore that advance, uh, either move this guy into here or whatever, and then defend this province with my god, and I don't care what Joman has, but my god should be able to take care of it um, in my candles, which I will have at least one there to make sure that happens. He does have a never healing wound, but that's not a big enough deal to really matter, I don't think. I could clean that off later if I care to. I don't think I do. Anyway, that is the turn.